Hello and welcome to, to Music Madness. I'm Shiloh and I'm here with these two lovely people. Hi guys, I'm Amy. Alright, I'm Ryan. As usual on Music Madness, we have a guest who is a professional experience in the music industry. Our guest today has over 10 years experience in radio. He currently works for our very own radio station, Radio Lab, and is keeping students and staff entertained all through the day. Please welcome our guest, Terry Lee. <laughs> Hello, Welcome Harry. to the show. Thank you for having me. How are me. you today? I'm all right, thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> Good. Um, so you were at the University of East Anglia studying politics and economics. Um, that's very different to radio. <laughs> Can you tell us why you got into that? Uh, well, Shiloh, I, I have to say, <laughs> when I first uh, was applying for university, radio was not in the forefront of my mind. I was thinking perhaps uh, a job as a, a, I don't know, an actuary or <laughs> or something financial, something that pays and then you're here. mega bucks. <laughs> um, whilst I was at university, I, I, I quickly discovered, uh, sort of by accident, that, that I enjoyed making radio and that that was uh, what I actually wanted to do. So, yeah, I started with the economics dream. Uh, it went to a, a slightly more exciting dream and, and I'm so pleased that I pursued radio. Because you wouldn't be here today. <laughs> oh yes, this, this is the highlight of my career so far. Uh, what specifically was the accident where you discovered radio? I got a job at the university bar um, and with a friend of mine, um, we, we basically were, were offered an opportunity to fill a slot on the radio station uh, that, w that was going. And I listened to a lot of radio. I never really thought about making radio. Um, when I discovered it wasn't the most complicated thing to do, um, it just gave me a chance to play some of my old CDs, to even dig out mini discs, which were, were, were <laughs> big at the oh, time. Oh no, I used to love the mini discs. Yeah. Oh, so I, I used is. to have my mini discs. Am I too young? <laughs> so I, I basically, I was trying to make the most you know, creative radio and I realised the audience for a student radio station was students. So I felt I knew that audience and, and without even realising it, I was uh, really actively um, thinking about the sort of radio that I thought would appeal to that audience, um, which is, 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 I guess, the main thing you want to do when you're making a radio program for a station, make sure you're, you're making the right sort of content. <laughs> uh, and, and making radio is, is such an accessible, it's an accessible medium. It's so easy and fun to do. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's something I recommend everyone get involved in. Because it's so interesting and politics and economics are very different to radio. Is there anything that you brought into that course, into radio? Huh. Um, in, if anything, <laughs> it, was the, it was the other way around. So uh, I can't say I ever had um, a, a, I know, a breakfast show package <laughs> about um, public sector economics, <laughs> but I, I certainly did bring my newfound presentation skills into economics presentations I had to give as part of my course. And in fact, it got to the point where any, anything where I was standing up in front of people or giving a presentation in a group, things like that, I was getting high marks, whereas, I don't know, the, the theory behind <laughs> macroeconomics, not so good. Not so good. <laughs> now, we've seen that you've done um, radio documentaries. Mm. Do you speak about economics and politics, or do you have any other particular areas? Well, <laughs> I guess you, you could argue politics kind of goes through a lot of things, mm. but um, generally speaking, the, the documentaries uh, I have followed up on uh, perhaps the most well-known are, are walking-based documentaries. Uh, uh, so in a previous job in Norfolk, uh, my, my wife and I, it wasn't my wife at the time, um, we recorded ourselves doing a 35-mile long walk across Norfolk. 35 um, miles? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I love walking. Yeah. I'm, from, I'm from Gloucester, so yeah, I know yeah. exactly what it is. Well, well, the idea is obviously you can't just, it's not just going to be 35 miles of walk recorded and played. That would be terribly <laughs> boring. Moving. Yeah, like uh, talking about blisters or something like that. No, it, it was about the things on, on the route. So we were working with the Broads Authority and we were working with local schools and it was about uh, creating audio, interesting audio about the things, the sights, the sounds, the river nearby. Um, and there, there's so much material, uh, the history, uh, and you find you are tapping into different subjects like geography, like history, like science. Um, it's making radio documentaries can be an incredibly, uh, I guess, rewarding experience in that way. So we're going to put you on the spot right now. We have very different music genre favourites. So what's yours? Okay. Um, to, 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 I guess a genre, <laughs> this is going to make me sound a bit pretentious. <laughs> um, 
I, I'm <coughs> quite into a sort of post-punk era. Like, mm. So after the, the 1970s, like early 1980s, um, <laughs> there, there are interesting bands like came in, coming, coming out of the punk era um, and even acts like Adamant, uh, there's a band called Wire, there's Gang of Four and I, I love listening to their music. Um, most of these involve guitars <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and drums. I can't say I'm uh, as up to speed with uh, some of the, the the music the students are playing on Radio Lab at the moment, but uh, you know I'll try and uh, keep up to speed as best I can, as, m as much as my interest allows. Um, but yeah, things things with guitars uh, <laughs> and some indie music, and, and recently a band called Grizzly Bear. I've been listening to their album, mm. really enjoying it. I recommend it. Are you known for doing a bit of air guitar in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> no one can see you in that. Yeah, <laughs> certainly air guitar, singing along um, loudly when no one else is in the room. <laughs> I can do that for sure. So you've done a lot of shows sure. um, over the time of your career. Um, what was some of the most memorable shows you've done? Um, I guess some of the highlights are the, the live outside broadcast. So for example, um, hosting like uh, talent competitions that were live on the radio at the same time, um, or, or being out and about at random locations and the challenges that, that face being out of the studio. But, but also uh, making radio, uh, you can do all sorts of interesting things with radio, it's a great medium for that, but I'm thinking of a, a 27 hour long program I did once. Oh wow. <laughs> my, my colleagues were all running um, a marathon. I didn't want to run a marathon. I'm, I'm, I'm not really built for a marathon. <laughs> um, so, and <laughs> what, what I decided to do is do a marathon broadcast. So rather than 26 point something miles, it was 26 point something hours of, of wow, programming. That is intense. So painful. obviously there were challenges in the middle of the night, but there were always people listening and getting involved and sort of guests on doing like live sets and, and people on the phone and all sorts of was, was that on your own or was that with multiple people um i i was the only one that did the whole time there would oh be God. occasionally other people coming in uh, either uh, as guests or occasionally you know i was showcasing other presenters on the station so for example when i was on at 10 p.m at night the the show that would normally have been on at that time was an electronica music show a genre i'm not particularly uh up to speed with but I got him to come on and talk about how he got into the genre and we discussed some of the music and I played some of the uh, very basic tracks that I was aware of that could be electronic. <laughs> anyway, th and so there were lots of um, interesting things like that. And I guess when you're doing a 27 hour show, as much as the endurance, it's, uh, it's ex trying to experience what it's like to, to, to be doing these shows at different times. I was very much a breakfast presenter at the time. So doing uh, magazine programs and doing specialist music programs that was an interesting challenge for me as well. So you've oh. worked on radio for so many years. There must be like celebrities or big names that you've worked with. Can you tell us and our audience yeah, any sure. of those big names? Sure. I, I guess <coughs> the, the most famous um, people I've worked with, and then one wasn't famous then but became very famous, um, going back to the Battle of the Bands competition I was talking about, Ed Sheeran <gasps> was the oh winner. Oh, God. Wow. And so as a 16-year-old, him and his dad would come in <laughs> to our, our station. They, they won our competition. I believe he still plays the guitar, which was part of the prize he won oh as God. he headlined. And, and he, he was a class act then. You know, he was still doing his loop pedal thing, <laughs> and he was able to, to stay on the stage even when he broke all the strings on his guitar. Um, it, it, he, he was amazing to watch, he's just a real talent. So it's no surprise he's gone on to be very successful, although perhaps I'm quite surprised <laughs> he's amazingly successful, but <laughs> I thought he was going to go somewhere and, and, and it turns out he did. Um, the person I met who was famous at the time um, caught me out. So. Uh, you may have heard of Theresa May, our current Prime oh Minister. Oh. <laughs> uh, she, she came into the, the radio station once as part of a PR stunt to launch a government initiative called the um, Big Society. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time she was Home Secretary. And uh, I wasn't aware she was going to come in, so I, I had come to do the breakfast programme, arrived at 5am, uh, flip-flop sh shorts, t-shirt, you know, stains on my jumper, <laughs> things like that. Oh, no. a and then during the show I was told, you know, Theresa May's coming in and there's TV cameras and there's a whole press crew coming in. Oh, she no. wants a tour of, of the station <laughs> and you're the only one that's going to be there to do it. <laughs> so um, I had to, to improvise and, and found some uh, 
radio station merchandise and things like that to, to dress myself in so I looked the part for the cameras. Um, <laughs> and I remember having a conversation with her about Twitter, which she had never Ooh, heard of at the time. Oh, no, it's yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today, Terry. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you so much, Terry, for joining us today. Pleasure. Uh, and we will join you next time. Uh, we'll You'll join us next time. <laughs> How about that instead? Uh, you join us, and next time we're going to be with Melvin O'Doom. That's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You. Take care.